Hi everybody, it's me. It is um, Saturday, I believe November 10th, which is my mother's birthday, who's now deceased. Happy birthday, honor from the Earth Life Mom. I know she's got a better life over there. So I, I think I was having weird dreams. I, I remember it was like I was watching Rachel Maddow and Lawrence O'Donnell and the TV was going and I was on the phone and I'm like laughing <laughs> and crying and saying, oh my God, you guys, he's gone, he's gone. So I don't know if he's actually gonna run, Donald Trump is gonna run for office or something's gonna happen because let me show you, I, I was thinking of the dream, and before I turned this on, I thought I'd ask real quick what's going to happen with Donald Trump. And y'all said he'll never, a lot of you guys think he'll never leave, you know, he'll never walk away. But I always felt like he couldn't take the heat, and he'd say, F you, I'm out here. Look at the outcome card. Picking up the swords and losing. Look at the hopes, dreams, and wishes. Ten of swords. And here's Mueller. And they're gonna find money corruption, big time money corruption. Here's the um, being stuck. Like we've been blind to what he's been doing and it's about ready to re be revealed. And look at who's standing here. Dang, maybe that is Nancy Pelosi. Some of you, ooh, the Knight of Swords. Uh-huh, so <sighs> fasten your seat belts. I know we've been talking, a lot of psychics have been picking up on this, and I'm sure y'all lose faith. I mean, if he could have just calmed down and stopped name calling and stuff, but I guess some people really like that. But uh, it's really caused such a, an ending for all of us. It's not, it's uh, us as a nation, we're divided. And um, division amongst a nation, it cannot stand. I mean, we have to come together. So I think Mueller and this woman, I think that, let me just look if, if the woman that we've been seeing is Nancy Pelosi. Well, she caused such a riff. Now, I really believe we can't go in there and say, got to get rid of Trump. I really don't. I don't think they should start impeachment. I really don't. Because I think enough's going to come to the table that um, he's just going to say, I'm out of here. And I feel like indictments. And I almost feel, even though they can't quite touch him, they're touching the family. So in order to save everybody, he goes. They're building it up, you guys. This is a big boom. But I think it would be best if they didn't go into impeachment. I think they need to come from the outside and come in. I need They need to call in people and have them retestify in front of Congress. So, is Nancy Pelosi part of the reason this happens? Or does she even become Speaker of the House? Is Nancy Pelosi... I even see Pence in trouble. I'm telling you, it's happening. Plus, I had that dream, and it was a lot of commotion, you guys. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Yep, that's her. That's her, you guys. People are partying and celebrating in the streets. Um, the fortune changes. There's battles, though. There's battles, and there's crossroads. Holy cow, you guys. You know, he's threatening to shut everything down. If you go against me, I'll, you know, because that's how he works. Did you hear that the, in Florida, those protesters, a lot of them were paid to go down there? I don't know what, why he has to pay people for everything, even for sex. Um, what we think now is totally going to change, but the good news is it's for the better. And fortunes will change. It's uh, 
people are celebrating in the streets. I can't, I can't amplify that enough. Um, so I think it's Nancy Pelosi. I have to tell you that. Out of everybody I read, and it could also be, you know, a combination because this um, Stormy Daniels and stuff, that's all coming out. And they're going to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that he corrupted and that he had payments made. He's just not used to having to be accountable. And, you know, all those people that believed in him, it's just, I think a lot of them will still go down with the ship. Like, oh, he's our president. I don't care what you say. But, you know, God help them. Because if it was up to them, like if the Republicans won and we were starting again, we might as well just raise our hands and say, oh, well. Because, not number one, forget Social Security, forget Medicare, health care, out the door. Um, he definitely would probably cut off California because right now he's saying California uh, needs to take care of things because we got too many um, fires. And also tell everybody in... <clears throat> living against the beach well it's your deal because you moved against the beach but you know australia and canada and everywhere it's just that's the way it, it goes fires are part of it okay now um people wanted me to ask about a recount on abrams stacy abrams they're gonna do a recount on stacy abrams She's the one that's running against Kemp, huh? He's a low life. He's really, they're gonna, ooh. I think I might've read a little bit on that yesterday. I feel him in big trouble. I actually see like charges against him. Tell me about a recap. Is Stacey Abrams going to be successful with the recount, yes or no? Is Stacey Abrams gonna be successful with the recount, yes or no? Ooh, she's got the celebration. I know she has hope right now. There's lying going on. Ooh. Well, it shows the government or maybe the, the state of Georgia standing here, um, the blind leading the blind. So she's starting off with great hopes that maybe every vote will be counted, but it's almost underhanded, sneaky. Um, remember, I think he was saying he was going to call the military in, but only they said nothing. There was no illegal stuff, so we can't come in. I would say it's showing a heartache here. And it's actually showing no in the environment. So... She's going to be one of those people that if she doesn't make it, no worries. They're going to pull her in again. Um, I hope it does because the Knight of Swords is with a death card. When that happens, it's sometimes death, actual physical death. So I don't know there's going to be some commotion taking place. But uh, I'll tell you that Rick Scott looks like he's dying. I mean, he doesn't look good. I can't tell you with 100% certainty that she's going to win. It's not like, yes, she's going to win. It looks more like there's some underhanded stuff. I mean, it wouldn't surprise us. She starts off looking good, and then something else is happening, or they try to go to court and change things. It's, some, it, it's not that good. So, sorry about that, you guys. I always felt she would win, but if she does win, it's, after, it's like it was going to take some time. Because it's like we got lawsuits coming and everything. Okay. The way they do things in Georgia are about ready to change. So, Stacey Abrams, and I think I might have read on her yesterday because I remember saying I was born in Georgia. Stacey, just, there's a lot of drama. Stacey, are you going to make it if they do a recount? We know things will have to change. Is it possible that you make it? I don't want to push it, you guys. Is it possible? But it's, it's not as clear as I would hope. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, it always starts off with happy. So even if she, if she gets this, 
She might go through a hardship like they're, they're working against her. People have to protect her. If she wins, it's a battle to win, okay? But it looks like she's looking at it excited, so I would imagine she gets the challenge. Okay, you guys? But there's a lot of drama with it. Now, wait, Rick Scott, okay, he's Florida. I wanted to look at him because he doesn't look good. Rick Scott, there's going to be a recount, okay? Rick Scott. And Florida's the one that's going through a, a lot of challenges. Rick Scott, are you going to win? You've already said you won as governor. Nelson is the one he's running against. He's the incumbent. Let's just look again. Rick Scott. I just saw masses of people, masses, yelling and screaming. Rick Scott. He's got the sun reversed, which means his dream does not come true. I think maybe there's a very good possibility. That's why they're so desperate not to have the recount. It's a very good possibility that Nelson can stay. Very good possibility. Because he's very upset. Rick Scott just doesn't feel healthy to me. Okay, now. Who else was I going to look at? I did Abrams. Oh, you guys wanted me to look at G Gillum. Is Gillum... Because he had said, okay, I didn't win. And now he's rescinded that and he's not bound to that. I can see a smiling face. Are you gonna win? I'm getting somebody in here. Um, this feels like it's... Uh, it feel, this feels like it's Roosevelt. And it's almost like he's saying it's a sad time for us now. Um, but don't fret during the sad times when we become united. Um, he had beautiful eyes. Jeez. He's got beautiful eyes. Um, tell everybody not to worry. This too shall pass. I've heard that before. He gonna make it? He's saying no. No. Sorry, you guys. But there's some event that's gonna happen. I feel people being told no, and then it might be court action or something. Something's going to get exposed. Some of the underhandedness is gonna get exposed. So, um, go ahead, Roosevelt, if he's talking to me. I can see his eyes as clear as day. He's showing me blue, showing me blue. So, um, oh, thank you. Ooh, he just showed me that Donald Trump is really upset. You know, he's not going to the American cemetery out in France because it's rainy. Somebody wrote on Twitter because he doesn't want his cotton candy hair to melt. <laughs> anyway, um, I know we shouldn't make fun of him. It's just he's so ugly. He's so ugly inside and out. And But it's good because we've all come together. 
And, uh, you know, if we really look at this whole picture, once we're done and we've put our swords down, we'll say, you know what? We're stronger now and we're paying attention now. Um, it, okay, thank you. So Roosevelt's telling me, there's a bunch of presidents here. <laughs> I even see Teddy. Um, they're telling me that, um, it's almost like a war. It's almost like we're going through World War II again and the consciousness of the nation has changed. But you know, also in the war, there was such hate for the Japanese um, and the Germans, you know, that uh, it still was painful. So that's what they're showing because even though we surpass this and we're victorious, you're still going to have the people that hate us, absolutely hate us, not other nations within our nations, within this nation. So that just, I almost feel like ugliness coming from our own people. That's how mad they are. You get the crazies out there. They're beat gun control, you guys. I just saw it. Mental exams. There's going to be some strict gun control. They're going to push the NRA right out of the way. You know, when I was a young girl, my dad took us kids and we shot, we shoot, we learned gun safety. My dad had a 22 next to him in the bedroom. We never touched it because we'd die if we did. But he was very strict about Gun con about using your gun. So I'm for the Second Amendment for being able to protect myself and my family, but I'd sooner give my guns up than to prostitute myself for the NRA. So that's why they got too powerful. Anything that got too big is going to go down. Even the Democrats kind of thought they're what you call didn't stink. So there's some, there's some ugliness that we've all experienced, and now it's time to come together. So you guys, I can't keep going because I got a little bit of a late start, but I want to wish you a happy week. Next week, I'm doing a gig with my sister, so I'll have to do something during the week for y'all. But fasten your seatbelt because things are going to get exciting. I can't wait. All right. You guys take care. Bye.